Hey guys, welcome back to another Hot Wheels custom video. I picked up a couple of the trucks from the local box store, including this 79 Ford pickup. My personal favorite. The only thing I really don't like about it is the camper on top, especially the fact that the top and the tailgate are molded from the same plastic. It seems like it would have been pretty easy just to cast the tailgate in, but I guess Mattel didn't ask me, so. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make a custom from this particular truck and of course the first thing we're going to do is take the thing apart. Once the car is apart, you'll see that the camper plastic just snaps in. I used a hacksaw and a file to cut the tailgate out of the camper and smooth the edges. I left the little clips in to align and hold the tailgate. I want to age this truck a little, so I'm going to lightly spray aircraft paint remover on top, being careful not to get too much on the sides. I want to try to keep the tampos on the sides if at all possible. As you can see here, the paint was only removed from the top surfaces. So now I'm going to weather these surfaces using the techniques shown in previous videos. The only difference is I'm not going to go crazy with the weathering. I want some of the metal to still be exposed for the final look. And here the truck is after I weathered it. Notice that you can still see the side tampos. I want the truck to look old, but not sitting in a field for 30 plus years old, more of a used and abused old. YouTube user Troy Grant has a technique he uses to get a broken glass look in a windshield. I need some practice, however this will work fine for my needs on this particular custom. I'll put the link to the video in the description below if you wish to give it a try. So the look I'm going for is an old beater or landscaping truck or quarry truck. I didn't want to go to all the trouble it would take to put an empty bed in. So I'm going to use a rock mold from Hobby Lobby to cast some simple rocks to go into the back and hide the bed. This will add visual appeal to the truck, something the monocolor plastic camper can't do. The first thing we need to do is apply some mold release, in this case some petroleum jelly. I applied it using a small brush. Now we can cast the part. Since most people don't have resin sitting around the home, I'm going to cast the parts using hot glue. I do this a lot for small parts such as these rocks. The hot glue has no problem taking up the detail and cures about the same rate as resin cures anyway. Plus, it's orders of magnitude cheaper. You can also cast in two part molds if you want, but that's for another video. If you feel the need to move the glue around, you can using the brush as long as it's covered in petroleum jelly. Once the glue cools, removing it from the mold is simple, as long as you've applied enough of the petroleum jelly. I'm going to cast about six or so rocks of different sizes that will go onto the back of the truck. After they come out of the mold, be sure to wash them thoroughly to remove all the petroleum jelly from the surfaces. Otherwise, the paint won't stick, which is our next step. I just airbrushed the rocks with gray primer but any gray paint will probably work. Now comes the part where we make the glue look like rocks. We're going to apply a wash to the glue. The color of the wash is what the dirt on the rock will look like in the final product. In this case, I want to use a black wash for black dirt. Of course, you probably realize that you could just use real rocks that you find outside. This is fine. If you do, you can always still apply the wash directly to them to give added contrast. Once the wash dries, I seal it with Tester's matte clear coat to protect it. Once that was dry, I could put the truck back together. Then comes the creative part, placing the rocks inside the bed. You just need to use your imagination and do your best to hide all the parts in the bed you don't want people to see. The best way to glue the glue together is with hot glue. Here you can see how mine turned out. The last step we need to take is to add dust to the body and the tires of the truck. I did this with an airbrush and then sealed it in with Tester's matte clear coat. Once everything was dry, I was done. The only real issue I have with this custom is that I didn't cut the tabs on the tailgate down far enough. I thought I would be able to hide them with the rocks, but to do that would require too many rocks on the back. I'm sure I already have exceeded the max capacity for this truck and adding more rocks would stretch people's credulity. Anyway, I like the look of this much better than the camper Mattel put on it. Let me know what you think below and thanks for watching.